So today I'm gonna to be making bread. I usually make bread here um, every couple of weeks. Um, this recipe was given to me by a friend of mine. It's, um, I guess, a family member's uh, bread recipe. I find it really good. Um, it makes four loaves, so it's really great to kind of make all at once, and then you have bread for a couple weeks. So pause if you wanna be able to use this exact recipe, but I'll be walking you through it. Okay, so up first we are doing half a cup of warm water followed by two tablespoons of active dry yeast, and then one tablespoon of sugar, uh, just regular white granulated sugar. Then you're gonna give that a stir, and you're gonna let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes until it starts to get frothy on the top and you activate the yeast. So while we're waiting for the yeast to bloom, I am putting together um, the rest of the wet ingredients. So this is two and a half cups of warm water, um, one third of a cup of vegetable oil. The recipe calls for a quarter of a cup of white sugar, but I am gonna do um, equal amounts of honey um, and then two room temperature eggs as well as a half teaspoon or a pinch of salt. So I'm gonna get that mixed together in a separate bowl and then I'm gonna go ahead and sift eight cups of flour um, so you measure out your eight cups and you sift them through. What I do with this recipe is I do half white and half whole wheat, but you can do all eight cups as white or um, mix with a, whatever you want. But we, we like the half white, half, um, half whole wheat blend. So that's what I'll be doing. Okay, so as you can see, our yeast has risen quite a bit. So we are going to dump in our wet ingredients as well as all our sifted flour. And then we're gonna kind of let the dough hook, we're gonna add the flour in kind of batches and let the dough hook do its job. It'll probably take about five minutes for all of the flour to be absorbed into the dough. Then we're gonna turn it out onto the, a floured countertop. And we're gonna knead it by hand for about five minutes or so. Uh, then we're gonna put it into a bowl and let it rise. So you're gonna know that it's kind of ready to turn out onto the counter when you see that the dough is pulling away from the sides of the bowl. Um, and then you just wanna kind of add some flour and you're gonna kind of test the dough as you go if you need to add more water or flour as you're starting to roll it. Um, but at this point you can kind of stop because you can see that it's coming out, out, out away from the, the side of the bowl. So at this point I put it into a large bowl and I greased it a little bit. I'm gonna put a layer of Christian paper over top which just keeps I mean obviously the dough is going to rise so we don't want it to be sticking to our tea towel then I'm just going to throw a tea towel over top and I'm going to put it in kind of a warm place um, and we are going to let it sit for about an hour to an hour and a half and then we'll come back okay it's been about an hour and as you can see our dough has risen quite a bit um, I do find with the whole wheat dough it like it does change the t or the whole wheat flour does change the texture of the dough a bit um, you might decide to do two cups of whole wheat and six. Um, just like be aware of that and kind of adjust your wet and dry kind of accordingly. Um, I find it's pretty good. Um, we don't mind the texture at all. Uh, so I'm just going to punch it down. Then I'm going to divide it up into four equal parts. And I'm going to put them in loaf pans. Okay, so I split them up into four uh, standard loaf pans. And now I am covering them back up with the parchment paper layer and then a couple of tea towels. We're gonna leave them rise again for another hour. Um, just make sure your home is a little bit on the warm side. We actually like to keep our house quite cool. Um, so I find when I make bread, I actually have to turn the heat on a little bit um, just so it's not too cold for it to rise. Or you can use, if your oven has a bread rise setting or turning the light on in your oven um, to kind of warm up a bit, but I usually just kind of use the opportunity and heat up the house. Okay, so I baked this bread for 40, about 40 minutes at 320. The original recipe uh, said 350 for 50 to 55 minutes, um, but I played around. This is an old recipe. Your oven might be different, essentially as kind of a cheat for you. Um, if you have a kind of a candy thermometer, just stick it into kind of partway through the bread. As long as you hit 190 as your internal temperature, the bread is done. Um, so I'm a little bit high. I could have probably pulled these out a little bit sooner. Um, this does make quite a crusty dough. Um, so again, if you like it more like a sandwich bread, just kind of play around with the temperature. As long as you're getting that 190 internal, if you had maybe a lower temperature or maybe a higher temperature for a shorter amount of time, you might get closer to what you're looking for. So I'm going to pop these out and just let them cool. 
Make sure they're cooled pretty completely before you slice them because if you slice them while they're still really warm, you're gonna dry out your bread. Um, and you wanna make sure that all that moisture and everything is kind of settled before you start slicing into everything. Okay, so they've all cooled. So I went and sliced them all up and I got these bags from Amazon um, that are just bread bags with the ties. So what we do is we um, usually freeze three, we leave one out for kind of breakfast and stuff for the week. Um, and this is, uh, so essentially it is a uh, whole wheat honey bread, um, but it kind of is based off of a white bread recipe. Uh, and we just kind of make some alterations as we go. Okay, thanks so much, bye.